Good morning and welcome back to the garden. Today is Saturday, July 23rd, and you know what that means. We're going to do a quick review of this garden, then we're going to go to you and we're going to celebrate what's going on in your garden. And if you're new to this channel, you're in for a real treat. Saturdays are dedicated to celebrating you and what you do at your house. If this is the first time you visited the garden, let me tell you what we do here. On Saturdays, we take a look at this loose-knit community of people that like to get their hands dirty and grow things that taste good. We draw inspiration from each other. We get ideas from each other. This morning I had one of our members say they weren't going to send any pictures in because they were done and they were going to start over next year. So I want to talk about adversity a little bit. Now you can do this too. I plant real heavy because I know I'm going to lose some stuff. I plant multiple times because I know I'm going to lose some stuff. Let's take a look at one example. If you were here on the episode we planted this. We had corn, carrots, beets, Swiss chard, kale, and corn. The carrots germinated, started coming up. We took the cardboard off. It was just about the time the heat set in. So I think it was a combination of the heat and bugs. We lost all of those. Not going to give up. So we went back and did it in the square foot. Right here I planted carrots in the square foot garden example. They had sprouted, something got them. I don't know if it was the heat, if it was bugs, but I don't have any carrots left in this square foot area. So we'll replant that. I do plant beets very heavy because the stuff we like to eat, the critters like to eat. So we gotta share a little bit, I guess. While well, I look for another example of adversity in this garden, let's go ahead and celebrate some of our friends and neighbors and their successes. Norris starts us off this morning with some stunning color, landscaping, and borders. That spilled pot still tickles me. Thank you, Nora. Your creativity is definitely inspiring. Denise's raised bed container garden is beating the heat for the most part. The herbs and the peppers are looking terrific. Even that shoe caddy is doing well in the heat. And just look at that swimming pool full of okra. Denise, this is wonderful, thank you. Art spent the morning starting his second go around a squash while enjoying the sunflower patch. Thank you for the update, Art. We look forward to seeing some harvest. Jen sent in this morning's bounty from her small raised beds Great job, Jen. Thank you. The hard work our friends and neighbors do motivate me to come out here in the garden and do this every day. Please leave a comment down below and let everybody know just how much you appreciate them sharing what's going on in their garden. I come up with another example, and this is a prime example. This little area of squash. Now we've got some nice squash off of it, but we did run into squash bugs and vine borers. Right over here, half of this plant just went away Found that vine bore, we covered heavy with cedar mulch, and it seems like we still have part of it, and we may get a few more squash. When we originally had the vine bore attack, I used an experiment with the cedar chips. Up in this area, I didn't get as much as I did up front. We'll take a look at that in just a second. This plant behind me, this plant I didn't get near enough cedar chips on, and it looks like it's succumbed. That's why I say, we'll see what we get. Up front here, we did lose half of these plants before I got the cedar chips down. I got this down really heavy in around these, and I think we did okay. We saved a bunch of these. I've got an even bigger problem. How do I get in here without hurting the plants if there's something that needs to be harvested? I say that because I have to dive in. Zucchini, the perfect size. <sighs> Zucchini the size I like them. Out of adversity comes the mother of invention. The cedar chips seem to keep a lot of the bugs at bay. I'm not going to say it's going to get rid of all of them. As this guy shows right here. Stinker. Well I find something to put these in. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few more. Joe, now I've got another thing on my bucket list. Those are so cool. We can't wait to see what the fruit looks like. Thank you for the update. Larry's got watermelons and more watermelons. 
and more. Wow. That is awesome, Larry. Your peppers look good. So do your cherry tomatoes. Thanks for sharing today's harvest. Mike and Linda's garden is now recovering nicely. That electric fence has persuaded the deer. This garden is not a deer feeder. We look forward to seeing your bounty. By the way, where can I get one of those organic bug catchers? <laughs> Thank you guys. This is great. Walter's peppers are producing like mad and his variety is excellent. His tomatoes are also providing a bounty. And this is what he grabbed for lunch this morning. Walter, your lotuses are looking good. I see another bloom. Thank you for sharing your garden. Like I've been telling you, our friends and neighbors are absolutely incredible. Right here is that giant sweet potato slip we planted without roots. To see if a giant sweet potato slip will make another giant sweet potato. Talk about adversity. See these little black marks on here? We've had some blister beetles come through. That's uh, what they leave after they eat. Lost a couple leaves in here. We, came as, we did spray with some soapy water. It appears that they're no longer here. So we'll see what we get. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few more. Patrice harvested the first cucumber and ochre this week. The tomatoes and peppers are setting nicely. Patrice had to move the sweet potatoes to get a little more sun. This is fantastic and looks tasty. Thank you for sharing. Fred, along with his handiwork, has been blessed with enough rain and not very many bugs. And his garden shows it. These are great cabbages. Thank you for sharing. Valerie's garden is still producing well in the Texas summer heat. After a bit of morning harvest, some cantaloupe would do nicely. Then back at it. Your lotus have taken off nicely and we're expecting a flower soon. Thank you, Valerie. This is great. Aren't our friends and neighbors absolutely incredible? Please hit that like button. That lets the algorithm at YouTube know that you actually do like this video. And if you shared it, that would help also. I want to thank the member of this community that keeps telling me that I'm not promoting myself enough. So here goes. I'm Waylon Smalley. Welcome back to my garden. Please subscribe. You know we're actually getting close to 10,000 subscribers and I want to thank you. You guys make it all worthwhile. If you notice, there is something new to the channel page. Down below at the description, I'm not selling anything, but since Riley's not out here in the garden because of the heat, you might want to take a look at that. That wouldn't hurt my feelings either. Enough of that. Back to adversity. You were here with me when I planted all these potatoes in the deep mulch. You were here when they sprouted. We started harvesting. Then we got an attack of a blister beetles. So we had to harvest over here way earlier than we wanted to. Didn't get near as much as we should have. Still got a decent little harvest. These hadn't completely died back and we got some good growth on some of these, but a lot in here, and I know I'm standing on a few potatoes right now. We're gonna go ahead and harvest these pretty quick, but that's adversity. The bugs came in. We're trying to be as organic as possible. So we're using Dawn dishwashing soap and water and it actually is very, very effective. Leave a comment down below and I'll do a separate episode where I catch some bugs and we test out a few. Well, we'll see if that's strong enough to hold that. If this episode seemed a little negative, that was not the intention. I wanted to show you, you can do this too. We all have adversity. You just got to plan for it a little bit. Just like everything else in life. I do want to thank you for stopping by the garden this Saturday for a visit and helping celebrate our friends and neighbors and what they're doing in their gardens. I really do invite you to share what's going on in your garden. Let us celebrate your successes along with you. Until next time. Remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.